So there's something I wanted to talk about today. The question, what do I want to do with the rest of my life? It's an interesting question to me because I don't know why you would want to have a plan for the rest of your life. I see this question pop up a lot on things like dating websites and among friends and other things. To be honest, it's quite common. But it's such an interesting question because I don't feel like for anyone it needs an answer. Like, let me explain. I feel like a person should always be the best person they can be in their current situation. Because without going into too much detail, by helping those around you and reducing the amount of cognitive dissonance that you have, side note, cognitive dissonance is when two neurons are firing at the same time that have a different message. For example, one neuron could be firing one that says, I'm hungry, and the other neuron's firing one that says, I'm fat, um, which causes, you know, uh, a bad feeling. So back on point, the more helpful you are to those in your environment reduces the amount of cognitive dissonance you have because you are a part of your environment. In fact, you are your environment. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. Your brain is filled with things called mirror neurons, uh, which means that they take in all the information around them and essentially you do everything that's around you. And the lack of understanding that you have for yourself and how your brain works means that you rely more heavily on mirror neurons. So, the idea that you want to map out the rest of your life, have this weird plan of what you want to do with the rest of your life, doesn't make any sense. I know that some of you are going to argue, no, 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 what the rest of my life means is like, I want a job, right? Like, what I want to do for a job. Which, by the way, only in America, you can look this up, I'm not full of shit. Only in America is it common, if you ask someone what they are, they will give you their job in response. Like, for instance, if someone was like, who are you, Brandon? I would be like, a custodian. But that's only something that happens in America. Not on point, but relevant, I guess. Interesting to think about. So, once again, back to the main point. Um, We were talking about when people say what they want to do for the rest of their life, they mean a job or something. But here's the thing. I'm going to school for computer science right now. I'm learning coding. That's probably the path I'm going to go because I love coding. Um, But if someone genuinely thinks... My goddamn phone. If someone thinks that I'm going to be a coder for the rest of my life and that is what is going to define me, the idea that someone thinks that just because I'm going for computer science and I enjoy coding... That means that that's that's me knowing what I want to do with the rest of my life. No. No, it does not. It means that I have an interest in coding, so I went to school for it, and now I'm going to do things that involve coding that hopefully are going to benefit me and the people around me. Whether that means just getting a job, making money, providing, or even like making an awesome code for a business or making a cool website that helps the people around me. And by bettering myself... I am bettering those around me because they have mirror neurons too. And by helping them, they are in return going to help other people. Which, by the way, a lot of you are going to think I'm crazy, but this information is backed by science. And in fact, I encourage you to research this stuff. I don't know, maybe one day I'll do an episode on it. But yeah, so once again, you know, just recapping, the idea that you have to know what you want to do with the rest of your life is insane. Be the person that you need to be now. That's all you have to do, and things will fall into place. If you have the right mindset of always trying to be the better you, which is, by the way, the easiest thing to do in the world, it involves removing choice, but... Oh god, maybe I've just opened up a can of worms I can't fucking follow through with. Basically, if you want to be the better you, you have to remove choice. Let me give you an example. Um... Let's say your mom says, hey, go do the dishes. And your thought is, no, fuck that shit. I'm not going to go do the fucking dishes. But then she goes and gets a shotgun. And she holds it up to you and says, hey, go do the dishes. And then you scurry your little ass in there and you go do the fucking dishes. She didn't do anything. She picked up a gun and removed choice. You no longer had a choice, so you did the dishes. So 
by removing this illusion of choice that you've given yourself, you will get shit done. For example, if you go to eat something and you have cognitive dissonance because you shouldn't eat it, let's say a cookie, you should eat your three meals a day, I'm not saying you should avoid eating, so you pick up this fucking cookie and you know you shouldn't eat it. Well, if you remove the idea of choice, if you take that out of the equation completely and you put that cookie down, you don't give yourself that choice, you are already the better you because you have done what you knew you should have done. The idea of choice is stupid. I know a lot of you are gonna think this is crazy and you're gonna think that I'm crazy, but I'm not. If you wanna be a better you and you wanna help those around you and get shit done, you don't have a fucking choice. Which I'm being very confrontational, which is really silly, because that usually doesn't work, but it's the first episode, so deal with it. I'm ranting. So yeah. You don't need to have a life plan. You don't need to know what you're doing with the rest of your life. You just need to know to always be the better you. Stop giving yourself choice. Choice is what makes you a little bitch. So stop doing it. (sighs) That's putting it as simple as I can. This shit is really complex. And I'd love to go into detail on the little shit. uh, Maybe in a future one. But this is the first one. I just wanted to rant because I've been thinking about it recently. And it's really silly that uh, it's even a question. I hope a lot of people see this video because I would really like people to not take up my way of thinking because I think that that's stupid. I think everyone should come to their own conclusion, but maybe at least add my way of thinking to their concoction that is their opinion their way of doing things, another perspective for them to see. And maybe it'll help some people, maybe it won't. I don't know. But yeah, there's my my rant, my first rant anyways. Maybe I'll do more, maybe I won't. I don't know. You don't need to know what you need to do with the rest of your fucking life. Stop it.